What is going on, everyone? How about we talk about my favorite southern city in the United States, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah is a coastal city in Georgia right on the border of South Carolina, and it's separated by the Savannah River. The Savannah metropolitan area has an estimated population of about 387,000 people, and that's as of 2017. Now, that's the whole metro area. The actual city itself is closer to 150,000. Savannah is Georgia's third largest city. It's known for its well-maintained parks and its architecture, its historic districts filled with cobble stone squares and parks such as Foresight Park, shaded by oak trees and covered with Spanish moss. It's amazing. Savannah is one of the most beautiful cities I have ever been to, and I've been to a lot of cities in this country. The hostess city of the South is the nickname for Savannah, and if you spend any time there, you'll see how fitting it is. Savannah has a lot of reasons someone would want to move there, but no place is perfect, and that's what this video is about. The not-so-perfect things about Savannah. So sit back and watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Savannah, Georgia. Number 10, the minimum wage. In case I haven't made it abundantly clear yet, Savannah is in the state of Georgia, and currently the minimum wage in Georgia is $5.15 an hour. Yep, $5.15 an hour. That's the lowest in the country. Their minimum wage has not been raised since 1998. The good news for the people of Georgia, the federal minimum wage is $7.25. So, although their wages are set at $5.15, workers in Georgia make no less than $7.25 an hour. So, if you're in Savannah, you're in Georgia, so that sucks. Georgia would like to pay the residents less, but they'd end up in court, is what they're telling you. Number 9. Housing. Housing in the city can get a little ridiculous. If you're looking to be in the heart of downtown Savannah, you better have a good paying job. A safe, decent sized apartment will be no less than $1,000 a month, with a single family home being upwards of $2,000. And before the people of Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York start going off, stop typing. Yes, compared to those cities, that's dirt cheap. But this isn't a major city that everyone's flocking to and it's not overcrowded. Do yourself a favor and move just outside of downtown. Save yourself a ton of money. Number 8. No sex toys. Unfortunately, it is a law that no residents may use a sex toy. In 1968, a resident was convicted because of the law, despite arguing the law was archaic and that sex toys have a therapeutic value. They still got locked up. Thankfully, the law isn't taken serious anymore, and the government won't be doing random sex toy checks on your property. Now, this really isn't a reason not to move here, especially since it's not enforced anymore. It just kind of gives you an understanding of the mindset of the local area, you know, both past and maybe present, when they have laws like this. If it was enforced, I'm sure the residents would be spending an awful lot of time shopping for produce. Number 7. Schools. Savannah has almost 50 public schools within the city, and they're not the best. The average school test score is 47% lower than the national average. Because of this, only about 80% of the residents have completed high school. And that's not the worst of the country, but it's not good. You should think about enrolling your children in one of the 26 private schools in the city, or move them further away from South Carolina. Schools are one of the main stats people look at before relocating. And I saw a study a couple years back that showed as school districts had gotten better, crime rate went down. The next time a district wants to cut school funding, they should pull up this study and show it to the people. Number six, Paula Dean. If you aren't familiar with Paula Dean, she's basically a restaurant owner and chef who specializes in Southern cuisine from Savannah. She had a couple of TV shows on the Food Network. She was in all the daytime talk shows. She wrote some cookbooks, her first being the Lady and Son Savannah Country Cookbook. Then in June 2013, Dean was the target of a lawsuit alleging racial and sexual discrimination. During her deposition, she stated that she does, in fact, drop F-bombs every now and again. Just as things were dying down from that controversy, in 2015, she decided to dress up her family as the cast of I Love Lucy, including her son as Little Ricky, complete with brown face. Now, apparently that's when it was put up in 2015. It happened like in 2011. Anyway, most residents have a deep dislike for her because of the stain she gave the city. So if for whatever reason you're a huge fan of Paula Dean, maybe you should keep that to yourself. And be prepared to explain to your family that, yes, this is in fact where she's from.
Number five, the paranormal. Savannah is the second most haunted city in the U.S. It's an older city, so this one's a no-brainer for the believers. Residents of older homes claim they've often seen shadows or feel someone's watching them while they're at home alone. This is the same for most of the hotels in the city, too. Maybe it's just the ghost of Paula Deen's career. Who knows? Also, you're not safe if your home is brand new or freshly remodeled. It could have been built on a mass grave or something. So, if that kind of stuff freaks you out, maybe Savannah isn't for you. Number four, the smell. If you've ever been to this city, you know it stinks. The Savannah River smells awful. It makes the whole city smell like rotten eggs and sulfur. This happens with cities in the south. They have so many swamps, marshes, slow-moving creeks. Combined with the summer heat, it just gets brutal on the old sniffer. Number three. Employment. Moving to a city without a job first is a pretty poor idea. The unemployment rate is at 3.7% in Savannah, which isn't that bad. The downside is, like many places these days, the pay sucks. Savannah just has a few too many minimum wage jobs like far too many. The poverty level in Savannah is 68% higher than the national average. You don't want to be in line for public assistance in Savannah. It's hot, it's humid, it stinks. You're in line next to Paula Deen. It's just a bad day. Number two. The humidity. Like I just said, the humidity gets pretty rough in Savannah. I've only been to Savannah once during the winter. That winter was really nice. It was pleasant, I have to admit. I've spent about four summers, or at least part of the summer, in Savannah over the years. I had some girlfriends there when I lived in Georgia, and I really enjoyed my time, so much so that I put up with the heat. You know, it's amazing what a young man will do when females are involved. Anyway, being part of the South, it's no surprise that the summers are absolutely miserable in Savannah. Temperatures will get up in the hundreds, and it'll feel like it's even worse with the humidity. And for some reason, there never seems to be a breeze, like most coastal cities have. Now before you do, stop typing. That's been my experience. I'm sure they get the occasional breeze that blows through. And number one, crime. If you're moving to Savannah for safety reasons, like you want to get away from, you know, New York or something like that, you obviously haven't done your research. This place has some serious crime. There's been over 4,000 crimes committed per every 100,000 people this year alone, 2018, which is about 45% higher than the national average. And we still got three weeks left to go. Every couple days or so, there's news of a new murder. And that's nothing new for the Savannah residents, which it's too bad. This is a beautiful city filled to the brim with good people. If it wasn't for the crime, I would recommend Savannah to anyone that doesn't mind heat and that swamp smell. It is that nice of a city. It's too bad. Need to get a handle on their crime and their schools, and this would be a great city. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Savannah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Like I said, Savannah's a great city. I recommend it, at least to visit. Stay in the good neighborhoods. You'll be fine. Don't forget all the links below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so already. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.